welcome to Snowmobiler TV. Today's tour spins the track out east, getting a widespread taste and sample from all over the great trails in New Brunswick. We have a private chat with Articat about keeping the momentum going after a massive and successful 2012 launch. Talk a little four-stroke power with Yamaha and see how Skidoo is bringing the focus back to the customer. It's all good, so let's ride. STV is sponsored by Yamaha four-stroke snowmobiles. Why do you, Yamaha? By G-Max helmets. There's a G-Max for everyone. And by Skidoo. Better rides, better riders. After 15 years of producing Snowmobiler TV, we have definitely learned that Canada has some of the finest riding locations found anywhere. Picking a sweet spot across this country for a sled and vacation can be a tough decision. So to help you with this, let us introduce an overview of New Brunswick snowmobiling. Once again, the maritime region gets high praise for its great mix of eastern hospitality, lots of snow, and a great trail system for getting us around to take it all in. The trails are white gold. And that's a, a phrase that was coined by the province and us uh, almost 20 years ago now. And even while uh, the rest of North America struggles for snow this winter, New Brunswick has had trails groomed and open for over four weeks. So we continue to have snow when uh, other places struggle. It's also due to the hard work of the clubs. Some of the areas have your traditional snow from the 1st of January till the end of March. But we have areas that we ride late into April every year and often can start in December every year because of the altitudes and the interior of this province. We're very unique. We have everything from fields to rail beds to a little bit of mountain, backwoods, backcountry. Uh, in our province we have eight zones and divided up equally to the province with 51 clubs. And uh, we have 7,100 kilometers of trails and you we always have snow either in the south or the north. Uh, we have two snow belts we call it. So we have one down in the south in zone 8 and we have the one you see here in the uh, northern part of the province. Understanding the importance of partnerships, the New Brunswick Federation of Snowmobile Clubs has worked long and hard to form a great relationship with their provincial government, which certainly helps in promoting the sport. When it comes to product development, government can't do it alone. We need partners and we need uh, organizations like the Snowmobile Federation and they're a crucial part of developing the snowmobile product and this particular federation are just a great bunch of folks to work with and uh, we're, I'm really proud of, of what they do here in terms of helping us uh, market New Brunswick to the world and snowmobiling is a crucial part of making New Brunswick a four season destination and we've got even you know when you look at this particular season uh, right across North America um, where there's very limited access to snow based on the weather that we're having there's at least some parts of New Brunswick where we still have that product and people can have access to uh, sledding this time of year so look this is a, a crucial part of what we do here in New Brunswick in terms of having a world-class tourism product that uh, people will want to come and enjoy. We got nice trails but uh, still there's uh, a lot more that can be done and I think as a government we want to work hand in hand with the Federation and the different uh, snowmobile club in New Brunswick in order to uh, enhance and uh, uh, add more to the trail system. Uh, we need to work uh, together with the, the Federation because uh, uh, we got to have the trail uh, on private property, on government property, on Crown land. So I guess we need to work together in order to uh, better improve and provide more uh, trail uh, so New Brunswickers and uh, also the people outside New Brunswick coming here and enjoy the beauty of uh, snowmobiling in New Brunswick. New Brunswick also understands that snowmobiling is a family sport and that providing amenities to help keep everyone from kids to seniors comfy and warm while out on the trails is key to having a good experience. It's much more than just a ride. Uh, one of our programs we had in was the warm-up shelters and uh, when we had the NTC money we started putting up the signs so people could actually have the kilometers to the warm-up shelters. These days it's, uh, it's not as much but when you're out here in the backcountry it's nice to have a place to stop in, especially if you break down, a place to tow your sled and get warm and that's what we put them mostly out for. But a lot of families will uh, pack a lunch and bring their kids out and not put a high mileage on like you said. They'll come out, stay here for what a half an hour to an hour, have a lunch, an easy riding day 
it's a great spot for them to come and, uh, and enjoy our, our great trails here in New Brunswick. With our signage program as well, they said we have uh, uh, mileage on these trails to tell you where the next warm-up shelter is. A lot of people like to stop in, get warmed up, especially for our visitors, get the maps out and see where they're going to make their next venture. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great uh, place to get warmed up. The clubs do an excellent job of keeping them clean, keeping them stocked as wood and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's a great exposure for us. We had the NTC uh, grants here about two years ago and we started the program in New Brunswick. We have 141 permanent signposts. And we started off with provincial and provincial trails. And it's for our tourists that are coming in because the locals know the trails, but the tourists don't. So we try to put a lot of emphasis on our signage so people know where they're going and can stop and see how far it is. And on them we have the, the route trails. We have our uh, program for rider responsibility. And we also have uh, the distances to the next warm-up shelter, gas, etc. So people get to understand and they match the maps, so they, it, it makes a better riding experience for them. With great places to stay that roll out the red carpet for snowmobilers, if planning a snowmobile vacation is on your radar, then looking into the maritime experience in the province of New Brunswick will definitely be a great place that won't disappoint. How many snowmobiles were registered in Canada in 2012? The answer when we return. Coming up, what happens after the year of the cat? 